Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. Can you tell me what is happening in this picture? Oh, the minion just kicked one of his teammates. Or I can say that the minion applied a certain force on one of his teammates. So I can say that kicking is a type of force. What is happening in this picture? The cat is pushing the trolley. Or I can say that the cat is applying certain force on the trolley in order to move it. This means that pushing is also a type of force. What is the man doing? The man is pulling the drawer. Or I can say that the man is applying certain force on the drawer in order to open it. This means that pulling is also a type of force. What is happening in this picture? This man is hitting the golf ball. Or I can say that the man is applying certain force on the ball in order to move it. This means that hitting is also a type of force. All these actions of kicking, pushing, pulling, hitting are called as force. So in today's class we will be studying about the topic force. The forces which we saw like kicking, pushing, pulling and hitting these are mainly classified under two types. They are pushing and pulling. Kicking of football, hitting with a hammer comes under pushing. Pulling a door or opening a drawer comes under pulling. So basically we can say that force is the push or pull of objects. Now let us look at some of the uses of the force. What is the boy doing in this picture? He is putting some force on the car which is at rest in order to move it. So we can say that force is required to put a stationary object into motion. Here force is applied by the boy on the stationary object that is the car in order to move it. So you can see that state of rest of the car has been changed to state of motion due to the application of force. What can you see in this picture? The ball which was moving comes to rest due to the force applied by the boy in order to catch it. So we can say that force is required to stop a moving object. Here force is applied by the boy on the moving object that is the ball in order to stop it. So you can see that state of motion of the ball has been changed to the state of rest due to the application of force. Finally, we can say that force is used to change the state of motion of an object. What will happen if you press this ball with your hand? Yes, the shape of the ball will change. It is because you press the ball or in other words you applied certain force on that ball. Hence the shape of the ball changed. It is the same with these rubber bands. When you apply certain force on these rubber bands that is when you pull the rubber band the shape of the rubber band changes. Hence we can say that force is used to change the shape of an object. Can you tell me what is this? Yes, this is the dough of chapatis that you eat. Now imagine that your mummy does not even touch the dough. Then will you be able to eat the chapatis? No, it's not possible to eat these delicious chapatis. First, your mummy has to make small balls out of these dough. After that, 
she has to apply certain force on these balls with the help of chapati roller that is your mummy needs to interact with the dough only then these chapatis will be ready for you to eat in the same way tell me will you be able to move this table without even touching it no that's not possible when you push the table with your hand only then it can be moved that is you must interact with this table in order to move it so we conclude that force is due to the interaction of objects now tell me is it easy for this man to push the car or is it easy for these people to push the car of course we know that it will be easy for these people to push the car it is because force applied by these three people in the same direction is greater when compared to the force applied by the single person force applied by these three people in the same direction adds up what about this game what do you think who will win of course we know that these four people will win the game it is because force applied by these four people in the same direction is greater when compared to the force applied by the single person so force applied by these four people in the same direction adds up with this we can say that forces that are acting in the same direction adds up so in today's class we have studied that force is push or pull of objects force changes the state of motion of an object force changes the shape of an object force is due to the interaction of objects force is acting in the same direction adds up thank you for watching